Hello everyone. Today I am here to show you how to fix overscan on your PC. So what I did is I brought my PC into my living room and I wanted to hook it up to my TV because I wanted to play something on it that I could get on my computer. And I wanted to play it on the TV so my whole family could watch. Well, it hooked up and everything using an HDMI to an HDMI and it wasn't working. And I didn't understand. And you can see that the corners are cut off here, up here, and even down here. You can barely even see the time slot there. And I had no idea how to fix this. Well, a simple fix that I feel I overlooked. So, you're going to be needing two cords. You are going to be needing an aux cord, which is this cord right here. It has these two ends, and you're going to be needing one of these cords. It has the same two ends as this. Or you can have an HDMI cord that has one of these at the end. I don't know what they are called, but you can have one of those. Those will also work in this process. Here is that HDMI cord with this blue end at the end. Another thing, you will need to make sure that your TV has a PC setting. This is how I fixed it for me. I completely overlooked this and I plugged it into an HDMI port, which is how I have it hooked into my other TV monitor. It is an actual TV and it is just plugged in to an HDMI port. So I figured it would work the same for this TV, but it is not working like I planned it to. So, with these little steps, you can figure out how to fix overscanning on your TV. So here will be the back of your computer. As you can see, you have your HDMI cord currently plugged in. What you're going to do is you will need to unplug it and your TV will lose its connection. That is okay because we are going to be reconnecting it soon. So now you can either use one of the blue ends of your double-sided blue cord, or you can use the HDMI end. Oh, excuse me. You can either use the HDMI end of your blue and HDMI cord. You cannot use the blue cord because we are going to be needing it to hook to the TV. Now this cord doesn't work for me because mine is broken. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to get this blue cord. So now for this one, it fits this size and it will go right into this port right here and not this one over here. So give me one second while I go and screw that in. This is what it will look like when you have it screwed in. Now if you have pulled out your PC box here, do not put it back in because you are going to need to get into the back of it again to hook up the aux cord into it but you need to be able to see your PC screen before you can do that. So do not put your box back yet, leave it out, and if, make sure you have enough room so you can get the other end to your TV or your monitor. So now I am at the back of my TV, and what you're going to do is you're going to take your blue end, either from your HDMI cord or from your double blue ended cord, you're going to be Putting it on the PC input, the VGA, the blue port right there. We'll put it on just like that. I'll be right back once I get it screwed on there. So now that you have screwed it in, it should look good and in place there. Now these little blue prongs here, you're going to make sure they're hand tightened pretty good. Because if they aren't, it's your TV. It's not going to show right on your TV or monitor. So you need to make sure they're tightened here and on your PC if you did use that type of cord. So now, when you go back to your TV, you're going to have to change your sources on your TV, on your remote. You go there, and you scroll down to PC, and everything should be looking fine. And you should no longer have the oversizing issue, over scanning, excuse me. Everything should look fine. But now, if you haven't noticed, you have no sound. Now for my TV, 
this is where you have to plug in the aux cord. Some of you may not have to, but if you do, please stick around and I will show you how to connect your sound. Okay, so now we are back here. We have brought our light back over and now we have our aux cord. So now you can plug it into any one of these three and when you do, you should get a message. You're plugging these into any of these to be your uh, to transfer your audio from your TV to your uh, computer or your computer box to your output in your TV. So what you need to do is, if you want a microphone, I would suggest keeping not using uh, this red one or this blue one because it is the area where you can select a microphone. The screen one, you only select the headphone option. And I will show you here what I'm talking about. So you need to select the headphone option for it to work. And if you don't, it won't. I know that the headphones work for a fact if you'd like to try any of the other ones to see if speaker, front speaker out or line in work. But I know for the fact that the headphones work. But so you plug it into one of these three and you will select the headphones option. And so there's my mouse. So you select that, select OK. You now have audio an audio source. But for it to transport from your TV, or from your box to your TV, you need to plug it into the back of your TV. Okay, so now you may have had to move your box back to your monitor closer, because your aux cord is probably kind of short. So you need to move it back in so your aux cord will reach. And what you're going to be doing is plugging your aux cord in. For me, it is right above my blue cord here in the audio in slot. So let's take this hand and let's plug it in there. Now you are automatically already hearing sounds from notifications. Okay, so now to test it out, we are going to be trying a trailer for the Arena Wars for Grand Theft Auto 5 on Steam. And so as you can hear, you can hear the sound coming out of the TV. So it works. Nothing is clipped. So we have solved your overscreening. And we have made sure that the audio is working. So thank you everyone for watching. If you did, I hope I could help you out. If not, I am sorry and I hope you do find a way to fix your TV. Please make sure to like the video so more people who need this help can reach the video. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.